Hey Maya. Hi Mama Hammond. Bear with me a second. Hi people. How y'all doing? Right, so it's me hosting and I haven't done this for a while. Right, what is it letting me do? One second, bear with me a minute. It's good to see you all here, guys. Right, Naomi, what is going on with this thing? No, next, done. Oh my goodness, that took a long time. Hi, people. Hey, Nay. So, Naomi, I've just sent you a request, and Malcolm, I've sent you a request. So, hopefully, we hey, hi, how are you doing? Hey, hi. Malcolm. Hey, hello. Good afternoon, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, we're all here. <laughs> Malcolm, can you hear us okay? Yes, oh, it's loud and clear. Oh, you, hear me? you hear me good? Yes, yes, we can hear you well. Thank you for joining us. Uh, yes, thank you. So the pleasure is all mine. So, those of you that can see this is Sisters Talk About. Um, the show that myself and my cousin sister friend Naomi host the second, the first and the, the third Monday of the month. Did I get that right, Nay? Because you know me already. Yeah, but yeah. Right. And my mum's on here, so my mum's going to say yes. My mum's going to say yes, you only your memory bad, your mind, your memory bad, bad, bad. Go ahead. I, I yeah, it's the God. first and the third Monday of every month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is the very first time we... I uh, have a pleasure in having a guest on with us. All the way from Guyana, we have Mr. Michael Furrow, Mr. 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 Kofofol Mertz. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. How are you doing? So, Malcolm, if you would like to do, I, w I would introduce you, but I think it's best if you just introduce yourself and tell the people a bit about yourself. Well, my name is Malcolm Ferrer, the Rasta Diplomat, the Ghetto Scholar, Mr. Wickedy, the Wickedy Boss, Master 592, the Roadman, oh, a.k.a. Yeah, yeah, the Kofofola, yeah. your humble servant at your service in service to the nation, straight out to retirement. Guyana, this is your next president. <laughs> my name is Malcolm Ferrer. I'm a radio broadcaster by well, television as well, by profession. Mm -hmm. I am from <laughs> Guyana, South America. And it's a pleasure being here with you beautiful ladies. Thank you. Pleasure it's is all ours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So, <laughs> we're just so excited about today's show. I know. <laughs> I'm just going to be grinning from ear to ear to ear. Um, right, so, for those of you who are joining us, just talk about for the first time, this platform was set by myself, my sister, cousin, friend, Naomi, who's joining me. And it's literally, we started this February 21 in lockdown. Yeah, yeah Because yeah. we 21. talk a lot on the phone for hours. So we were like, let's bring our, in, our conversations to Instagram. Because we've seen people just going on Instagram doing foolishness. <laughs> let's bring our conversations to Instagram. We can do that. We can do what they're doing. So we literally, can that's that that's literally how this started just bringing mm -hmm. our conversations to the gram because the conversations we have can go on for two or three hours mm, and we should go into very very deep conversation mm -hmm. and through bringing this to instagram those who have been on our talks know that we are unapologetic unapologetic in everything that we say yeah yep. so if you're a person that's easily offended don't tune in. <laughs> Don't tune in. Simple things. Don't tune if you in. get offended easily, then tune in the same for you. Mm. If you're unable mama, mama. to yeah, if you're unable yeah. to separate your emotions away from the conversation, yeah. 
this isn't the platform for you because no. there are times when we will talk about things that we've actually experienced ourselves personally. However, we do like to talk about things from an objective view and from different angles, you mm -hmm. know, and then also like just being a realist about everything really as much as we can. And we're here to learn. It's not just exactly. us yapping away. We are here to learn and to yes. drive conversation between the black men and the women. And get us know? talking together and listening to yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and today's conversation, we have two topics. Yeah. <laughs> Topic one yeah. being... <laughs> We're already... Topic one you know. being feminism and mm -hmm. how we feel, what effect we feel feminism has had on the family, more or less the black family, because this platform is We Are Black First. Mm -hmm. So we invite anyone to join anyone anyway can join but this platform we are black first and that's mm -hmm. what we concentrate on in our topics yeah um so the first one being feminism and how and how we feel that's affected the black family and mm -hmm. then the second topic being the role of a man so yeah mm -hmm. they are our topics they and we're never going to be getting into deep conversation because we've already had a conversation with malcolm off the live and that yeah. was a very very deep conversation yeah very insightful very insightful yeah so throughout as always if you have any come want to make any comments have any questions drop them in the chat yeah um if you want to join of course by all means put your invite and i will accept you because remember we can have we can have at least four people and so we, we can, can have, have an extra people, person yeah, yeah 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 so if yeah. another person wanted to actually speak on live with us and like share your opinion that would be great too yeah come and join us okay so let's kick start this conversation man so naomi where were you on this this whole this feminism word this the movement i knew you was gonna ask me first um my view is is that to pull it nicely, I don't, I don't follow it. I don't, I don't believe in the whole concept, and I don't believe the whole concept actually makes complete sense. Okay, and it can cause a lot of disruptions, and well, not it can, it does cause many disruptions and divides um and it's like i get it that in terms of you know as women as women we we're allowed to vote we're allowed to work and earn money and to have a say in everything however i feel like it's got well first of all i say like um the concept of feminism was never for black women if we what makes you say that? Well, in the beginning of when feminism was introduced, there was a guise where it was made out that it was apparently for all women, but then when black women started to speak up and was talking about what they was experiencing, and what was happening for them, they were shut down. They didn't receive the same amount of support. Mm -hmm. So it, it was just like, oh, well, I thought it was for all women. And it wasn't for all women. And as time has gone on, <clears throat> going into, like, history, it's... I see is it's a... Uh, it's a, a push for the breakdown of the family. And I see a lot with the push of the breakdown of the black family, with the ideology of what feminism is about, apparently about. And it's, um, it's being pushed that we should just be independent and don't depend on anyone. However, the resonance of life, we are, it's, we're supposed to be here for one another. 
we're not supposed to be on this earth as individuals, like living this life alone. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, like me and Malcolm, we spoke briefly earlier, and it, you know, we noticed that there's there is a lot of lonely women. They don't, their ego won't say that they're lonely. <laughs> <laughs> their yeah. ego won't allow them mm -hmm. to say, "I'm lonely." I not even I want a man. I would like a man. I would like a companion. I would like someone to lean on. I would like someone to be there for me. I would like someone to, like, when when I fall or when I get tired, to be there to pick, to help, to help. It's like their egos mm -hmm. won't allow them to even utter those words. So we've got to a point where, you know, many people are really living this life and not many people are actually happy you know and well, i don't know what every you know everyone's views who's watching this but god the creator did not create us to be unhappy did not create us to be lonely did not create us mm. to do things alone the whole point we have the word unity you know, why Why do we have mm -hmm. that word? We have the word community. Why do we have that word? We're supposed to be doing things together. And don't get me wrong, I am a person where I, it's like, I can be like, I'm good, I can do this, I can do that, you know? However, it would be nice to have someone there, you know? And it's like, it's something that I've had to teach myself too because the word resonance of the feminist vibe rubbing off of my, ugh, my um, get my words out, were or have rubbed off on me. And I did have to check myself many times to say, where's that logic come from? Mm -hmm. Where is this way of thinking or way of being come, come from? And yeah, I really have to check myself. And that's what many of us have to do. We have to check ourselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's okay to say, you know what, the way that I was living or my way of thinking wasn't actually the right way. Okay. It wasn't really benefiting me or us, you know? So, yeah. Okay. I'll stop there for now because I can go on and on and on. <laughs> so I'll let one of y'all guys take over. <laughs> okay, Malcolm. So, how do you, what, because you, you are in Guyana. So, are we, um, your name is coming from a UK perspective. This oh, is how yeah. we see how feminism, she feels feminism, feminism has affected the family in the UK. What, what's your take on the feminism movement? Um, well, here in Guyana, from my observations and my lived reality, I well, I find that looking at you guys, looking at various platforms in the UK, some in the United States of America, um, mm -hmm. from from male and female content provider, from some who people term manosphere, looked at red pill, I've looked at black pill i've looked at views from the feminist angle with presenters and content creators and being from guyana where voices are loud in terms of feminism but there is also a vast majority of the population that actually believe in traditional a traditional life a traditional lifestyle a traditional family a traditional mm -hmm. outlook on life. So as an outsider looking in at the situation, the loudest content creators with the most views and numbers, I would think everyone is just like going at each other. Like men and women are just having some, some mad fight uh, mm -hmm. that doesn't stop. Like it's just nastiness. It's just terror. It's just I pass. It's just condemnation and criticism. But when I go to places, I don't see that as the reality. I have had women open doors for me in places where you would think a woman would never do that. Okay? Mm -hmm. More than one time. Mm -hmm. So if I am looking in 
and seeing it from countries where it has had time to grow, time to expand, time to come to what it is presently. Looking at the results now of it, where um, within those same arguments, I see results because they're fighting against what they see the outcome that they have. If I'm in a place looking at that, I wouldn't want that to be something that we have to deal with, honestly. Mm. It, is too, it is too divisive. It doesn't allow much for varying opinions. It doesn't allow for a person to agree to disagree. We, we learned mm. that from very young. We can agree mm. to disagree. This, you stand mm. here, I stand here. We can meet somewhere as it requires. I'm not seeing much of that. I'm mm -hmm. seeing what seems like in the first world, uh, the move to elevate one sex is only done or is mostly done by beating down the other. That is what I see. Mm -hmm. some, of it, mm -hmm. some, of it, some of it, admittedly, I believe, is reactionary to what they're faced with and what they see in society and all of that. But if that is the brand of feminism as it's being advertised and as it's being expected to, to take hold, I wouldn't want that because I still believe men and women do need each other. We need each other more than ever in these mm -hmm. times where yeah. there are mm -hmm. many, many yeah. active forces that are trying to push us apart even further. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of new strains on the family. The parenting manual has not been updated but the children are improved versions, right? So your problems are different, but the way in which you were allowed to deal with problems may not apply in many situations right now. So mm -hmm. what are we doing? What I see, I look around the first world. You, 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 um, you beat men down to such an extent that you tell them you don't need them, okay? If someone mm -hmm. keeps telling if someone keeps telling you that they don't need you, that man, if your boss at work keeps telling you that, what would you do? You you'd get out of there. You understand? Yeah. I need so, home. <laughs> right, right. So yes, <laughs> men, <laughs> men, men by nature, uh, we don't like to have to go through one thing over and over and over. So we yeah. try to find mm -hmm. an easy an easy way out of it, okay? You don't want me to give you a compliment, to tell you something sweet in the street. You don't want me to open a door for you. I run the risk of being embarrassed from what I've seen. That doesn't happen much from my experience here in Guyana. Um, mm. People still can't call here. People still, mm. a man could still get a woman's number by saying something that, oh, wow. You understand? He may. He, he doesn't have to be the most handsome. He doesn't have to be the wealthiest or flashing minerals. But he could still say something that could trigger a positive response. When mm -hmm. you remove the ability for humans to interact the way we've been interacting for thousands upon thousands of years, then you have to have something to replace it with. And if there is no order in that which is being used to replace what has always been. Remember, traditions and culture, in many instances, they're like, what I'd say, they're solutions to problems we don't even know we had, right? So when we remove certain things, then we now have to live the reality of those problems over again. Yeah. So if the brand of feminism is that men and women have to be against each other and you have to suppress men to elevate women and vice versa, I don't think I'd be interested in that. And as a matter of fact, I don't think that serves much benefit to society. Mm. So here in Guyana, if you look at social media and you follow yeah. a dozen page, pages or so, you'd believe there is a big battle of the sex is happening but when you go into the streets and you walk and you meet people then you realize there are still many uh, persons who bear the responsibilities of their families who expect of them to at least 
this minimum standard should be applied to your life. What you see yeah. happening, and this is what we we expect. So when you start removing, okay, in Guyana, uh, a man would be involved in his daughter choosing a life partner. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Not as much in the black community as it is in the Indian community, which is just about a little larger than the black community here in Guyana, right? Okay. Let me give you examples of what I've seen. In many instances, a young a young woman gets pregnant, and what happens in our community is like we're out to lynch the young man. Mm. You understand? Mm. So immediately we start to check if this person is good enough, and almost instantaneously, outside of them totally abandoning that person, they offer to look after. the child is do there is not a father you get me mm. then there is another community where if you get pregnant then they find the young man and say well hey bro you you have to marry her this is how it is right. regardless okay. of your position we say you you make a bed so you shall lie in it right what that does is instill from early that you have to be careful and extra careful mm-hmm. because if you if you run to a nonsense then you have to stick with that nonsense there are mm-hmm. hardly any outs for you to just okay the grandparents are going just going to take over and to hell with the father mm-hmm. to hell with whomever All right so we still have instances where fathers choose maybe not to the extent of saying you have to get this person but they vet potential mates for their children for the daughters in particular mm-hmm. um and that has been passed down through culture and when we try to remove all of those things we we never realize that we had a problem of she liking the bad boy more than she does the good guy mm-hmm. so there were mechanisms that were put in place to ensure that certain things didn't happen no come to think of it it, it wasn't 100% But from mm-hmm. what I know in these times the young woman would still have to consent to be in with the person or yeah. it doesn't happen right so we've removed in our community many, many relationships are held in secret many relationships never never come mm-hmm. before you know many relationships are if, maybe you want to say something you know maybe I, I'm just going on too much you know okay so it's fine um you gave it there was a lot there to take in but all of it was very 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 relevant that i feel um and i don't know you're so funny i am you just literally said the same thing we're not meant to be alone and i don't know someone said it in the comments as well um we were not made to be alone we need companionship we're designed for it mm-hmm. um i think that's something that we all agree on and i think in terms of the feminism it's like what Mar- Malcolm what i've taken from what markham said is in guyana is is totally different mm. the women there it's like the growing up as a woman there they're happy they're in their home they look after their man they're independent but that strong feminism vibe isn't over there as it is over here over mm. here i feel much like what naomi said is that it's a thing where the beating down the man and I, d- i don't understand that to me that's not if that's feminism i don't want that it's mm. so it's not for being yes equality <laughs> gender in the workplace in regards to if we're doing the same job then get the same amount of money yes but at the same time beating down the man for what and saying i don't need a man like markham said you're saying i don't need you i don't need you i don't need you but i want you mm It's a double standard there. You don't need that person. So why would they want you? Mm-hmm. You see... Does, uh, it make, does it make any sense to me? Long, long ago, men married to get access to consistent sex. Mm-hmm. Because it was very difficult outside of a brothel for a young woman to engage with you the majority of the times if you're not going to take it further to the ultimate 
mm -hmm. you remove when you remove shame from certain things when you remove um such barriers and such way of thinking where it's made okay for you to do whatever you want trust me men win all the time mm -hmm. it does nothing to uplift to liberate yourself by sleeping with 150 men and then you want a good man mm -hmm. no right thinking person is going to accept that mm -hmm. so if you're going to teach do anything then you should at least in form of the consequences of doing anything. Mm. And that That's doesn't happen. So when, people face, when, they yeah. face the when they face the consequences, then, then they, they question the trip that they had. Because remember, you told them about this trip, right? So you'll find in Guyana, um, women still pride themselves on knowing to cook. A woman would curse another woman and tell she she doesn't know to cook. That is an embarrassment mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. You know, to clean, you can't even wash. Look at you and look at your garment. Yeah, that's mm. that's an embarrassment. Still. <laughs> you mm, I'm over here. Mm. Yeah, over mm. here. Sorry, so someone's made the comment. Hmm, it's exactly over here. That's, mm. that's that's an embarrassment still. Mm. I do know a few women that they won't cook. They don't know how to cook. That, that, that's, look, 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 look. Get, don't get me, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If you, if you, if you don't know to cook, um, you can still learn to cook if you mm. want to. Know. They don't. They don't cook, want to. Cooking, they cooking don't is not to. a big science. Yeah. Basic cooking is not a big science that is so hard. Uh, as 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 doing certain other things. So you mm. learn that. So what you, what you find happening in Guyana, you 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 can still find a normal man with a very beautiful woman, you know. You you can mm -hmm. still find you can still find a man who whose income is derived from being the driver of a horse cart where he has a horse and a cart and that's how they make money, right? And he would transport stuff for people from point A to point B and get money. You can still find a man mm -hmm. who's a fisherman. When I say fisherman, I don't mean has a boat, has a cast net that he would throw in trenches uh, okay. and get fish. And you could still see a pretty woman right there with him. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, it blows your mind sometimes when you see it, right? <laughs> Especially when I look at, at YouTube and I see all this content from overseas, you know. Uh, that guy, mm. there is, uh, Guyana has a cane, a sugar cane industry. It's, it's much smaller now, but there are cane cutters who get up at, at uh, they, they have to be at work at 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. And, and their wives are up and cook, cook already for them at 2 a.m., you know, every day. You understand? Wow. Okay. wow. When when you yeah. remove the when you when you remove the word cooperation, and it becomes I don't need, I may mm -hmm. want you, then mm -hmm. in essence, what is it that you've done? You've mm -hmm. removed the ability for two two persons who who earn half of what they would like the partner to earn, right? But when you put them together, it becomes exactly what you would like one person to earn, and you get to stay at home. Mm. In Guyana, people there are still women who are independent, and from their actions, they're strong. But mm. they, they 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 would be working a nine to five just like the man. They would go to work. They look after the family before they go to work. Mm. Then they go to work and they look after the family again after work, mm. dutifully, happily. You understand? And you, you may question why they go home and cook. And you ask them, hey, you can just pick up some fast food or anything. And they say, no, they go and cook your that slave job. No. She doesn't want her children to eat from any in any place. Mm -hmm. She wants to know that she knows exactly what they're consuming. Mm -hmm. You understand? You can still find a man and a woman working together, putting the salary together and making the family work. You can mm. still find a you can still find a woman who out earns her man, and still have a family together. It sounds it sounds weird to you guys, right? Yeah, because so th that's why I said, if your brand of feminism, I don't think it's 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 too good. Mm. You, you understand? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's like someone mentioned. Someone this someone mentioned in the comments. I'm trying to see. They said it was it militia, but it's tradition in the UK. It's like that that. Tradition, it we've lost it. You know, yeah. but you know what? You know what? What is very interesting. 
lots of persons who contribute heavily to the new cultures it is let's say in the UK to say the new mm-hmm. feminist culture they're from places where they know differently you know they're from places mm-hmm. where where they've seen differently work before you know mm-hmm. and they're from places okay. many mm-hmm. many of them are probably even from homes where they see even differently but just mm-hmm. the need mm-hmm. to oppose sometimes could be so strong that you just push facts mm-hmm. to the corner and just just deal with how how you feel in the moment you know um mm-hmm. yeah. especially caribbean people when you see caribbean people uh champion in certain causes and uh especially beating down each other men and women beating down each other yeah. we've had shared experiences you understand there wasn't a time really where the black slave was above the black male slave was above the black female slave you know mm. you understand me that's why i i agree with you when you said earlier you you, you took up causes that were not necessarily yours mm-hmm. you, know, you started to fight mm-hmm. for things that weren't affecting you mm. you know so um look at it from the outside it doesn't paint a good picture especially the picture of it has become so the div- the the divide is so wide now on public transportation in 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 your country uh women are being assaulted publicly and no one is doing yeah, anything no, except no, record no, 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 no. yeah oh how 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 how, how could we meet to, to <laughs> such a level mm-hmm. you understand oh what has happened you know mm. <clears throat> that doesn't happen around these sides that much yeah, if it happens exactly. out of the eye sight right probably yeah. it should happen in the open and is a different but story to the point, yeah we've got to a point where um and i do believe that it has affected the protection of those women there's there's this bandwagon that keeps on being passed around we don't need men we don't need men we don't need men strong, we don't need men we're strong we're this i don't need your help da, 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 da. and it's being drilled so much into society that a woman like you says can be attacked in front of so many people and not one person not one man will jump in to save her not one man will step up and say or even say stop what you're doing isn't right mm. like you say they're just taking out the phones and filming that's the so- <clears throat> that's the society that we live in nowadays everyone just takes out their phone just to film to film the fight to film the attack to film the stabbing to film the the slaughter but not actually to stop it and it's happening a lot to women and no one's protecting us you know but then you know so on one you know one side you can be like we're unsafe where you know we're not being protected and cry about it be upset about it but then on the other side it's like but what is being drilled into society you know those words are not falling on deaf ears those words are seeping into people's souls and they're walking around living the reality of you don't need me you don't need me you don't need me if you get attacked i don't need to step in you're strong enough to take it on yourself i'm not going to get myself hurt i'm not going to have me, anyone feel on me or whatever and i owe me pardon mm. let me let me ask you ladies a question if mm-hmm. if if men start saying we don't need a woman right yeah. and and, and <laughs> not not only that if we start teaching young boys mm. that they don't mm. need a woman right well what do you think is going to happen Well, there will be uproar. There will be women will be protesting. There will yeah. be marches. It, <laughs> yeah, there will be a lot of upset. Yeah. girls and women. Yeah. There will be a, a lot, lot of, of upset girls and women. How can so, you say so, as a man? How can you so, say you don't need us? What are we so meant how, to do? How can you sit there? How 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 is it okay for women to say that? 
It's, it's not. It's, it's not. Us, me it's not. Me. <laughs> to us, it's no. not. And I don't understand how that logic is being passed. It makes mm. no sense. sense. There's a hidden agenda behind it all. There's a hidden agenda behind it all. And I wish people could open up their eyes. Acknowledge it, sense it, or even, um, you know what? I don't even think that many don't sense the hidden agenda. They're too scared to speak up. They're too scared to of being cancelled and yeah, yeah. losing yeah, I mean, your income. Like being cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, even like people it, being cancelled isn't just all oh, being cancelled online. No, it goes to it's your being, job and yeah, your family. It's being cancelled in society. In do you know what I mean? On in your everyday life when you're going against something. Yeah, being cancelled in your job and being treated differently because you don't believe the same thing is everybody else or you're not joining the whole bandwagon but it it, it doesn't make no blasted sense <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't make any sense and um i'm not here for it i'm not here for it at all if uh i don't need a man like that doesn't make me weak that doesn't you know all the things that are attached to mm. it or it makes you weak or it makes you needy or like um you're you're vulnerable. It's like no, actually, I'm more vulnerable without men on my side. Yeah. That makes yeah. me more vulnerable not having men on my side. How how confusion confusing do you think it is for young children hearing uh, such messages, and then um, when the real world comes knocking on your door, you realize uh, mm -hmm. we we were taught. Um, just didn't make much sense now. It can't help you in the real world. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Let, let me really. give you an example. Let me give you an example of certain challenges that young black women in particular, young women in general, but young black women in particular are, are, are faced with. Um, and I say young black women in particular, not that other women in Guyana, young women are not faced with it, but in other cultures, there are certain structures that allow them to have certain role models and certain help and security and protection around, mm -hmm. or males around them, basically. Um, mm -hmm. We're bordered by a country that is faced with some amount of economic hardship. <clears throat> and there has been an influx of women and men. But there has been, this is not something I see and I take lightly. This is not something I see just because I want to speak. It's something I've checked out from my travels um, in my country. I have found that from tip to tip, basically, we've had an influx of women. For whatever reason, they've turned to prostitution. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, Guyana mm -hmm. is a country that got, we got places where we call back down. That is the interior, where people go to do gold mining. They go cut timber. And usually, in those places, you, you would have prostitutes, men away from the families, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, sometimes over a year. Mm -hmm. But this was restricted to the interior location. Okay? Mm -hmm. Much of it away from society. So, due to the recent economic upheaval in our neighbor, um, like I said, many women are, for whatever reason, involved in prostitution. And it runs from tip to tip, all over. As a young woman now, growing up, <laughs> trying to hold a good head, say, here is what's going to happen. You see, we still teach women that a low body count would give you a better chance of having the person you're looking for, should you be mm -hmm. that person, especially okay. early, right? So, I mean, in certain societies where they preach that a woman should be allowed to 
have sex with how many men she wants to how often then they wouldn't see the importance of what I'm about to say but as okay I speak as a Guyanese our young women are now seeing prostitutes in the streets that are at places in their communities the rum shop that used to just sell the beers they now have prostitutes there you understand it's been years I've been calling for this to be regulated many many years I've said this on my radio shows they should be regulated so as a young woman who's trying to now make sure that she doesn't go do anything foolish trying to get her education and all of these things the guys that are after her now they have access to some of the prettiest women for 50 US dollars some instances 25 US dollars 75 US dollars mm -hmm. they could sleep with them get pictures with them get videos with them when a young woman now tells a young man no i'm focused on whatever and she looks around she then sees that same person who we know what they're doing walking in the street seemingly having more money than everyone else dressed mm -hmm. in the shortest of clothing i'm not speaking about how you should dress understand what i'm saying this is what mm -hmm. they're seeing this is the mm -hmm. visual short clothes exposed vulgar behavior in the streets and the sad part of it is that the men are just like running crazy behind it so mm -hmm. what you find happening is that someone has been married for 20 30 40 they are say 50 years and 20 year old marriage back then was even more conservative wife doesn't give oral sex all of these things this is available right there in front of his eyes you understand mm -hmm. how many men have fallen into the temptation how many men have paid for and end up with persons who are prostituting themselves many families have been broken this mm -hmm. is straight facts i had on my show representatives from women's organization of a particular area and they spoke of the amount of women that have complained that their husband started sleeping out since the bar got prostitutes how the the dynamic of the relationship has changed how a 20 year old young woman from another country wouldn't back two eyes to be with a 65 year old man from here providing he provides that monetary stuff that she's looking for mm -hmm. When a young woman watches a dad now and then sees hey you understand what going on here really how is she able to if the message that is being sent doesn't contain the ability to allow her to understand the dangers have mm -hmm. the tools to deal with it while continuing on her journey there will be as there has been due to the pandemic there has been a shift in what we can see subculture whereby mm -hmm. young men are now counting stripes for sleeping with prostitutes yeah you understand me well did someone mm -hmm. said or just the dating apps dating apps are basically the same thing hook up places where you just hook up and you mm -hmm. do whatever but i'm i ain't talking mm -hmm. about dating up i'm talking about when you step out to your door this is what you see in front of you on the streets mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. if that is happening it has to be arrested it has to be in my view regulated to the point where it doesn't become a danger even to the people who choose to involve in that and mm -hmm. also it doesn't become a, a security risk in any manner for our country. Mm -hmm. So there are different challenges that we face these parts that many in your sections wouldn't even mm. think about happening. Mm -hmm. So it's left yeah. unchecked. So if you have this behavior that is out in the open and then you have the the words that say you can do anything you want at any time nobody can tell you anything. Yes, people could tell you things. People should be able to tell you. what you could do mm -hmm. and what you can do 
and all of these things. People have been doing that ever since you were a kid, a yeah. toddler. People have been telling you and guiding you. You understand? As you come up, your boss tells you what to do. You understand? The ear hostess tells you what to do. You understand? Put up your seat, bring up the shuttle, and you do it. You so why someone can't tell you, don't do that, don't do this. If you do this, this is likely to happen. You understand? Mm -hmm. So th that's where we are in Guyana. Mm -hmm. So if you have the visuals in the streets already, then you have the reinforcement of a message that says you can do whatever you want at any time. Added to that, you have the ability to, but not the ability, you haven't really put forward man and woman together as family as, as an option. You understand, yeah. you put forward, you can yeah. do it on your own. So if you can do it on yeah. your own and all these things, and when you start, then what can we expect? We, 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 we should be expecting that it should bring about a marked change in behavior of our young people, especially. Because mm -hmm. even the big people, yeah. it, 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 it trapped the big people as well. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we have different challenges that we face, but that's why I'm happy in Guyana there's still uh, persons who are interested in what people like to call the traditional roles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I have a little bit of something I'd like to say about the traditional roles. What we're mm -hmm. having now, what we're having now is tradition. This mm -hmm. is the tradition. This has been happening for 40 years now. Mm -hmm. Hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So why, why are we saying choosing a family over career is traditional? It's not. You understand? Because right now, tradition doesn't dictate that that's a part of it. Mm. And this has been happening for decades along the way. You get what I'm saying, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it yeah, yesterday yeah, that is it is it yesterday that women were expected to be at home and be housewife? No, it's not. It's no, not. Yeah. That has changed 40, yeah. 50 years ago. Yeah. So the tradition. The tradition it's right now is what we live in now. What we have, which is they don't do it. Yeah. So, mm. so men are not asking for tradition. The tradition right now is the modern way, which you call the modern way. But that's the yeah. tradition because of the yeah. time that is that has been happening for. Yeah, the different. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Here in Guyana, yeah. probably more of our tradition is that where people don't find it as as slave work to cook for the family or to clean yeah. or to wash yeah. the man's clothing and all of that. That is not still not seen as slave work for the large mm. part, right? Mm -hmm. um, so our tradition now is that men, for the most part, have maintained their frame from back then. Provide, protect, do that. Mm. And it's a tradition of the female. That's that, that has changed. Yeah. yeah. So when yeah. you label tradition and say men want traditional, basically men should say, no, we don't want what is traditional these days. For yeah. the last 40 yeah. Years. Yeah. We want the old time thing. <laughs> you understand? The tradition now in the UK is for the woman to provide, protect everything. But that's mm. not now. That's not now, is it? Mm. No, it's mm. not. It's That's what she ago. wants to do because she's the, because she's saying she's the strong, independent woman. Yeah. Which base, which which is okay. Look, when I look at uh, many platforms, the most they speak about is high value men and men that. Mm. Yeah, but come I'm on, the majority. Williams, so Williams, you made a comment. Men are trash. What do you mean? I'm very confused. <laughs> <laughs> men are trash. Okay. Sorry, Malcolm, I just, he made the comment. I was like, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> what? That no, someone's trash? made the comment, men are trash. So I just, what, well, it's a guy it's, that's made the comment. So I'm like, exactly, what does he mean by that? It's exactly like you were saying before. It's, it's quite normal. We've normalized such comments, you know, so it's not a first mm -hmm. place I would have seen something like that. But in the reverse... It is not something nice to see. 
You understand? Mm-hmm. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is not. Look, we speak. We 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 speak of independence, and uh, someone made a, a a comment that says, uh, "Women are is because women are more independent now." Yeah, women have been mm-hmm. women have been doing their stuff for quite a long time too. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I was raised by a single. I was raised by a single mother. Mm. Right? Mm. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my I'm in the forties. So it is understandable. Yeah, this has been happening. So we paint pictures like if it's happening now. This has been happening for quite a very, 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 mm-hmm. very long time. You mm. understand? No, Williams you, just, sorry, Williams what? has just replied. He says, "Thing in response to." Why you put the comment saying men are trash? She says we need to take responsibility of how we treat women, which is true. Yes, okay, most definitely. Okay, thank you. Yeah, which is true. Yeah, thank you. That's true. Yeah. So, over here in Guyana, I I, I think our young women they, they have a lot of challenges to face. You know, I mm-hmm. I know it's not easy. I I I know it's not uh, going to be something that. Them alone can overcome. They need the the right tools and all of that, because yeah. uh, if, if it ends up the way that we're seeing the first world, as they say, go, then we we're not equipped to deal with such. Let me let me give you an example. Our country has found uh, billions of barrels of oil. Right, recently in the last five years. Uh, we wow. have big oil operations starting and more coming on stream. We found in excess of 25 oil fields with with enough for commercial to, for it to be commercially viable, right? So we got a lot of work. We got a lot of roads to be built, lots of roads to connect our interior locations with the coastline. We have lots of bridges to be built, lots of schools, lots of hospitals, lots of houses, and all of these things. We we we're going to need men to do to do. The majority of the heavy lifting, right? Mm-hmm. Let me let me let me give you an example. Um, teachers, we we salute our teachers, right? Mm-hmm. And rightly so. Majority mm-hmm. female, especially mm-hmm. here. Our nurses, we salute our nurses, mm-hmm. and rightly so. I understand. Mm-hmm. But somehow the equivalent when it comes to men. We we we're not uh, given. Have you ever seen yes. something major being done? Let let's say we have um. We we have major construction being done, a big road being built, uh, here in Guyana. One happened, and no one took time out to even say thanks to those that turned the spades and the shovels and lifted the cement and and did all of that. You may mm-hmm. want to say they get paid for doing it, but then a nurse gets paid as well as a teacher gets paid. Yeah, you understand. Mm-hmm. That? We don't do yep. that. We 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 don't mm-hmm. say thanks. You've you've made this this um very much more convenient for us. You understand? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. If we if if we take a little bit of time to acknowledge, we would we would notice in many instances we th- we see things happen and we take them for granted as though they're supposed to happen and this is how it has to be and this is how it should go and all of that. We don't we don't we don't really realize that someone had to do it. Uh, and that person should be deserving of at least mm-hmm. recognition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Know? So um, when when you put all together, uh, there are elements on both sides: men that go way too far with the rhetoric, and women mm-hmm. that go way too far as well with the rhetoric. Yeah. There there must be some solid common middle ground. But for many creators, mm-hmm. it doesn't serve its purpose. Mm-hmm. If you bring content from one, like from a man's perspective, <laughs> and uh, it may not work towards those who listen to you and your followers, if you then bring something that shows a woman yeah. in a different light, you understand. Yeah. Or you may do that and uh, acknowledge that person as being uh, a prototype, perhaps. You know. So, in my world. In the villages here in Guyana, there are many feminine women. You understand? The women that mm-hmm. are earning their own money, doing the whole work, mm-hmm. looking after the self, mm-hmm. and they're still in their femininity. Mm-hmm. Like, they, 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 mm-hmm. they don't have to. Not everyone, right? But it is not. It is not a. 
something that is strange to come across. No. Right. It is, it is mm -hmm. somewhat normal to find a woman who is accomplished and, and still within uh, a great deal of her femininity. You mm -hmm. understand? Yeah, mm -hmm. because her accomplishments, um, they weren't done at the time when she was taught that, okay, you achieved this only because, you understand, you were able to step up, step up on a man or step over a man or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Her accomplishments mm -hmm. came, came from, from her ability. To, to, to get it whatever done. I, I, I still like what we have here where a man mm -hmm. is expected to a man is expected to we, we spoke about the, the role of a man. The same expectations are here, you know. Um I guess what people can't understand is why someone would find it like I was saying to one of you ladies today, contentment has been uh removed somewhat or for someone to be contented, the what they need is is increased tremendously. <laughs> that yeah. many people, many people in your part of the world would find it difficult to understand how someone could be contented with the bare minimum mm. and look after a family and raise. But let me put it in perspective: how a woman could be contented with the bare minimum that a man has to offer, and still work you understand i'm not going to say equally sometimes even mm -hmm. more you understand sometimes even more than him mm -hmm. to ensure that the family because there is pride in the result which is the offspring and how the offspring uh, ends up in life yeah many people many people i know and you you probably will see it with, with immigrants from these parts of the world they go there with nothing, right? And what do they do? They work hard and they get everything, right? Hard. And mm -hmm. they set up the children. They, don't they? They set up the children. Yeah. Who then place in a better position. So the children now get the children. Mm -hmm. And those grandchildren start complaining about everything that grandma used to do. You think they could last in grandma time? No. Mm -mm. The world, yeah. would, chew, the world mm -hmm. would chew them up and spit them out easily. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, I've seen instances, I've done shows, uh, thousands of shows with people calling in and, and having uh, perspective. A woman in her femininity could manipulate an entire room with just her eyes and a flick of the ear and a flick of the hair and a smile, you know, and a step without even saying a word. She could speak one time and captivate everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She could have someone up in the masculine that is just somewhat abrasive and couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. and then what you do, instead of checking on the product that is being offered and being rejected, we start blaming the customer for not liking this product. Mm -hmm. You got me. Mm -hmm. So that is a lot of that has been happening. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of, lot of, lot of that has been happening. You know when we, when we see um, um, men, men, men love independent women. You know, don't don't okay. don't get me wrong. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I I see a lot of men saying um, uh, that men only like well, how men, men, how men, men. Yeah. When you say independent, yeah, what, what do you, what, yeah. yeah, what is it that they hey, actually want? You don't want somebody that you got to think for them. Okay. Do you? Okay. You don't want somebody that cannot make the right judgment call based on your shared interests. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want somebody who you don't trust would have the best interest of the family at heart in making any decision. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't you would want someone who could contribute and possibly help you in what you're doing. Because when you limit the conversation to high-value men, there are only a certain amount of them going around, you know. Mm. Right. A very small amount. The majority of people are just normal people, everyday going mm. people. So we mm -hmm. have to ensure that the conversation speaks to a small percentage when it's limited to what is in itself a small percentage of the population. 
So a question for you, a quick question for you, Malcolm, because you mentioned there's not a lot of high value women. I mean men, sorry. What do you when you say high value, what do you class as high value? Because there's a lot of women when you say high value, they're thinking of monetary. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that that is that is what I gather from listening to the US and the UK and <laughs> yeah. Canada and Europe. <laughs> they, 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 dollar they, bills and pounds. <laughs> let, let me ask you something. Does something have to be of high value for it to be valuable enough for you to cherish it? Well, in terms of monetary, how much they're earning? Anything. Anything. Does something <laughs> no. When I have think to be of, of the highest value, value for you to value it enough to cherish it? No. No, no. 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 But when I but I think with this hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> so, that would mean the conversation has to be about that's, that's for me, that's for me personally, that's for me. I can't mm. really speak for myself. But when I think of I'll say when I think of high value I don't go straight to the materialistic aspect okay. I think yes, of more exactly. the soul the character That's why I said the way yeah Contentment. so high value to me is their Contentment. character is their soul yeah yeah right so a man could be of value to a woman but it's not necessarily the highest value and that mm. wouldn't mean that she mm-hmm. that shouldn't mean that she shouldn't cherish that and vice versa she shouldn't yeah. cherish that yeah you 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 understand mm-hmm. let me ask mm-hmm. you if you write an exam and you get 94% that is excellent right yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you yeah. didn't get 95 or you didn't get you didn't get 95 the yeah. Oh, yeah. well, by the way, you didn't get 96. You didn't get 97. Mm-hmm. You understand what you can do the, the the games that you can play to meet to a point yeah. where yeah. you expect you expect 101 out of 100 and that's where the yeah. problem lies. Yeah. Mm. So when you have two persons of equal value, it should be easy for them to value each other. You understand? But mm-hmm. but that's not happening. That's not happening. Mm-hmm. People expect so much more from their partners that yeah, expectations. It's it's it like you 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 can't. If Jesus came to certain Christians, they would say you ain't good enough. You wear sandals and robe. You you you, you get me? That is mm-hmm. what happens. So if if we teach value as someone adding value to what you have. Mm-hmm. as as opposed to only that person having value for the, look a person may not be having all all of the money and all of these things but they could bring something to the table for you that you and them could strike and get all the money out of it because they yeah. bring yeah. value something of value to 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 the relationship mm-hmm. you understand but we don't mm-hmm. teach that mm-hmm. if a man is working for $50,000 you would hear you got to work for six figures but come on aren't you working for $50,000 as well there you go that mm. six figures isn't that six figures mm. so when you put that together you talk about working together that is how you make it easily no one seems to be saying that is either the rich man is here and so the woman doesn't need to have anything you can just choose any woman that is all we talking about we yeah. not talking about yeah it, 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 why would you be earning a certain amount and not see somebody that is doing exactly like you as as being on your level that's a mm. different understanding of female nature and hypergamy and all of that we do understand mm-hmm. but if we teach these concepts you understand if we teach people that it's not every instance that someone has to do something for you you could choose a partner that you could be the one to do and that's what you have to teach women you understand it is not mm-hmm. the partner alone that has to be able to do something for you look many women are accomplished and if they take a normal man they would find true love and good love because those guys they cherish them to the extreme because of mm-hmm. the value that they bring 
You understand? Yeah. So yeah. that's why I yeah. say so you don't have, always have to look for the high value. If if the man sees nothing wrong with taking a woman who many may consider not of or on his level, right? Mm-hmm. And when a when a woman is accomplished, if she could find it within herself to do something like that, she could find more love and more peace and a good person much easier than trying to find someone who doesn't care if you have or not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you don't make any money, you don't need a man to look after. You don't need nobody. We need somebody for really somebody who's going to respect you and treat you a certain way as somebody who's mm-hmm. very handy as well who could be supportive mm-hmm. in what you're doing there are mm-hmm. many men yeah. there are many men who would fulfill that role you understand yeah. but you we wouldn't want those men and they would cherish you in the, the manner that you yeah. do, but you want the, the 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 guy out there that you know it, it does it doesn't it doesn't so let's yeah. say every let's say every man who has a lot of money goes looking for a woman who has as much as or more money than him he isn't gonna really find his options are going to be quite limited yeah why why do that to yourself you're making money you take care of all the bills you okay you good then suddenly you hear you don't need <laughs> a man you understand but then you want mm-hmm. to get into a relationship think about this if you're saying you don't need somebody and you get into a relationship with them do you believe you will be sending signals and treating that person as though you need them no so, even, so you, you, you you're not even giving yeah. the best of yourself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so how mm-hmm. can you expect the best of that person in return mm-hmm. it's very difficult Mm, you understand mm, I, I, and mm. I, and i find it to be very challenging to really get over the concept of 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 adding value as opposed to to only high value mm. you understand mm. to to a man that has 10 billion dollars is he of more is he a higher value man than a man that has 1 million dollars mm. if you check it on if you check in check it on value on he is more in terms of assets and all of that and to someone they may look at it like that but to a person who 1 million dollar is quite enough for them to be contented that man is of the same value as the man mm-hmm. with 10 billion mm mm-hmm. yes yes I'm, i'm telling you mm-hmm. not always about the assets as you said i'm not a person to go mm-hmm. for that you yeah. know I think yeah. myself and I only on the kind of the same thinking there in regards to I go for for me the value is that person and what value they are going to add to my life as a person yeah. not the amount of money that they have yeah. it's their frame of mind the frame of mind their mindset like I said what value are they going to add to my life and what value yeah. I'm going to I'm going to add to their life yeah Definitely. yeah, yeah. No, there there poor men made a comment him is they say gainies will sell sand to the desert yeah of you course most definitely you to gt empires is said that what does that mean? <laughs> i i'm i'm telling you you, you don't have you have <laughs> desert sand but you don't have jungle sand jungle sand <laughs> is different from desert sand anyone okay. anywhere could access and have some desert sand but this jungle sand you're going to be one of only 100 persons in the world to have it <laughs> that's what it is okay. <laughs> oh dear me wow we went we went into it there Um, so those that have just joined, um, we're joined by Mr. Malcolm Ferreira. I cannot pronounce your surname. I'm sorry. For, for, it's Ferreira. Ferreira. Uh, Ferreira. 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 And the introduction, Ferreira. she 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 just gave me a... <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she went, she went past it. So Ferreira. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Kofofo. <laughs> Mr. Kofofo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to say. 
our first topic, feminism, um, and how we affect, think being like, it's affected the black family. So we've just been mm -hmm. diving deep into that. Um, and we've had, we did have some comments which we have addressed on. Um, the next topic that we're going to be diving into is the role of a man. We don't know, like, what is the role of a man? I'm a woman. I actually don't even know what is my... I'm, I'm confused with what my role is meant to be half the time, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I do. I, do, I did what I did. I said what I said. There's a doubt. <laughs> so, if I sometimes are confused with what my role is, I really can't say what the role what of What the role of man is. <laughs> Malcolm, help me now. What is the role of a man, please? Uh, it depends <laughs> on. I guess right now, it depends <laughs> on the country. It depends on the, mm. the the area. It depends on. Yeah. My role of a man remains the same: to provide, and to protect, and to be there to try to like steer the ship, basically. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. part of um. Doesn't mean that a woman could not be a captain. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. But when a man is there, this is what a man is expected to do. You know, okay. be the, the person who instills discipline, uh, mm -hmm. who, who also brings a certain level of calm within the home, and in as many ways as possible, be supportive of everyone in the home. Um, but the main thing should be to take care of yourself first and foremost. Okay. Mm. Role of a man outside of the home is to know yourself as early as possible. What are okay. your goals? What you aim to do? How you're gonna get there? And start mm -hmm. working on it. Find your purpose as early as possible. Women are allowed. Look, m men from long ago had to get the self together faster than men of today. Right, yeah. Or else you couldn't get a woman. <clears throat> couldn't have that sex. Sorry. Mm. Wasn't going to give a, uh, a what would they call it? Uh, someone who, in Guyana, we said, she wasn't going to give a man who does come with any words. It, you would have got mm. to ask home. You would have got to write a letter, say, you can't type it on your phone. You got to see your handwriting. Mm. How it is? <laughs> I got asked going for this girl because that's the value. Yeah, that's the value wow. that was rightfully placed on women. And they used to mm -hmm. write home for the girl, and then they can decide if they accept. You got go meet the family. You got sit on. You got talk. You got talk. Your intentions. You got do this. Then, then you might get wow. to take. Then you might get to take her and the male cousin <laughs> to the movies. Oh, I'm the male cousin. <laughs> I'm the male cousin. <laughs> wow. You understand me? Wow. Whoa. That was that was courting. During that time of mm -hmm. getting to know, then you make your decision. If you're going to get married, mm -hmm. the first time you're doing it is if you probably had a couple of prostitutes before, you know, or maybe one or two people in the neighborhood who used to pass it up without having much requirements. That may mm -hmm. be to his advantage and his bit of experience. But in mm -hmm. many instances, he now getting little access to a vagina when he married. <laughs> so he like, he's going to do everything that he's supposed to be. He's going to be the best man because he understands this is it. They got much more out there. And when you commit to this union, you have to stay committed. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yeah. <clears throat> you, don't, you don't run out just like that. You know? Mm -hmm. So what do you find happening? Now, these days, he doesn't need to commit to, to, to have an orgasm. Mm. And I'm not, I'm not even thinking, speaking about a paid orgasm. Uh, well, many dates work out in the same manner as being, well, It's just about the same thing, but if you know what I mean, right? He has mm -hmm. options. There are people who are going to sleep with him without requiring a mm. commitment. So right? do you think mm. that's the reason why people are setting him down later on in life because in previous generations they were settling down like early like they was already married by they were 20 or something but then now mm -hmm. 
you know, like, settling, yeah, because there's more options, there's no reason for them to be settling down, you know? Re there is no reason for men to be settling down. There are all reasons mental. for women to be settling down. Yeah. 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 Come, try as you may. Uh, men don't like wife up dangles. I understand. Mm. Men, men still look for the girl that has the least experience. While women look for experience. Men is not true. Where the men them there? Where's the men them there? Is this true? <laughs> the woman with the least experience. Them. Are true. Yeah. Okay. When when they're ready to 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 get real serious, there are all mm -hmm. the reasons. So, if one of the main things that made men get married fast was just like I told you, this was to have somebody that you get access to certain things. You get a family, you get you get mm. you get someone basically to be there with you and support you and all of these things. When you remove all of these things and they can get it outside of marriage or commitment, then you're incentivizing bad behavior or you're not incentivizing good behavior. Mm. You understand why? Rich country like where you are, why when you get married you can't get assistance? Mm. Yeah, why? Why do why the government don't mm -hmm. celebrate marriage by giving people money? They do. No, they do. They don't. But they no. they give they give you money when your family destroyed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. You, yeah. You, you get what I'm saying. When you break up, you get the money. Why? Why the not? Woman, the woman. Get, yeah, the woman gets the money. So let's reward good behavior, please. <laughs> People who live in mm. together long and think give them why don't give them access to things. Mm. Are, mm. are they what are That's they fine. what you need in your society? Isn't this mm -hmm. the end goal of if the end goal is men and women living together in harmony and raising beautiful families that then contribute to communities, because at the end of community there is unity. Unity. Mm -hmm. If we have that and the end goal is togetherness and a better nation, then by all means you'd want to reward good behavior. Yeah. But if the, end, if the end goal is to keep black people in particular mm -hmm. separated, what do yeah. you reward? Then mm -hmm. you reward what? You reward mm -hmm. behavior that doesn't contribute to wholesome mm -hmm. families. Mm -hmm. yeah, because and it makes them more, more money. money. That's why. Yeah. It makes them more money for us to be separated. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me say support over 18 years for a woman that has a child that the dad is not there for whatever reason we're not dealing with the reason yet we're not mm -hmm. dealing with the father is not there and the government gives every month a certain amount of money for a certain amount of children to look after them right mm -hmm. if you have a couple a couple that together why we can't take that calculate that same amount of money that it would take for them to raise a child and give it to them Mm. Because aren't we helping people with children? We are helping people with children. Mm -hmm. Isn't that so? Mm -hmm. Isn't that so? Mm -hmm. When people get married, why why we don't give them gifts? Here you go, fifty thousand pounds as a down payment. This is towards whatever you need to do as a family. You are probably got land to really put all mm -hmm. the all the big people got all the big estate where housing can go up. People got a lot of land. People own more land than they need in England. I'm certain. You see all these sprawling mm -hmm. estates and all them things could turn into housing for people that need. You understand? Mm -hmm. But people don't look at it like that. So what you get happening, I'm not saying to take away rich people thing and give away. I'm, this is not taking away rich people thing. This is things that were gained by certain means. We know what I'm talking about. You mm -hmm. understand? Good. Mm -hmm. So why you can't do that? Libya, a country like Libya, used to give newlyweds thousands of dollars. You understand? To help right. them. Rich countries like America, you know, uh, they help people that come into the country, uh, people that cross the borders illegally and get into the country. They, they, they're trying to give them thousands upon thousands of dollars. You understand? Mm. Well, there were stimulus packages. Why you can't help your own people that are doing the right things? If the black community says marriage rate is deep, sharp, mm. Why can't one year policy be to support wedded couples? Mm. Why, why, mm -hmm. why, why, why can't there be the need to have reward 
for doing what is necessary to uplift what you're a part of. Yeah. But then I'm going to want to do that, especially with, um, as black people, they don't mm. want to bring us together. Like we mentioned, their whole agenda and game plan is to keep that the black man and the black woman apart. Separated. Because they, yeah. they, they know how strong we are together, like you said, yeah. that community, that unity that we are when we are together. That's what they're mm. afraid of. Mm. So for I, I them, know. they I, make I, more I, money... So having why, especially over here for them it's better for it to be apart why is it we know the solutions we see them but we just can't do them if they're afraid <laughs> of you being together yeah. i would think the first thing you want to do is be together mm. yeah exactly <clears throat> you know? but i guess it's what but, it's what is society we're being taught and a lot of buying and living they, they're taking on what is being taught is that's their reality you know mm. that's their I, reality. I, I, I do agree um mm. but then there comes a time when we we got to move away from oh we're being taught this and and this is the reason why because yeah. we all we all reason yeah um <laughs> look at it look around how many how many successful black people are there in england yeah many are many many mm -hmm. many many how mm -hmm. many of them have put their resources together to to form a bank per se mm. you have a black bank i'm talking about no historical institution that is barely <laughs> surviving by whatever mean i'm speaking about mm -hmm. the new age institution that mm -hmm. uses as collateral the billions of dollars that the successful black in england have been able to accomplish. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens in England? Um, if you fight as Jamaicans, Trinidadians, Bajans, Guyanese, Saint, from Vincentians, you, you get nowhere. And so mm. they meet you separately and they trick you separately. Mm. Right? So what has happened is that black people have been programmed and conditioned magically recently to believe that they can't make it. Yeah. You could have told yeah. a slave that was freed that mm. slave couldn't make it. You got to be yeah. crazy. Yeah. That mm. slave wouldn't want to hear that. It's that we can't make it and not to trust one another. Yes. Uh, you know? <clears throat> distrust runs very mm. high in the black community as well. Yeah. But I'm still maintaining that there are enough black successful people that if they wanted to, they could really make an impact and change a lot that has been happening in the yep. communities. Yep. And you see people do things and people are doing wonderful things. There are many that are doing, but they're all doing it what? They're all doing it under and through an organization. They're mm -hmm. all doing it mostly separately. You come together to give a turkey at Thanksgiving or whatever. You understand? Come together and mm -hmm. open a bank. Come together and open places where people that look like you can access knowledge and resources mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. ensure that they are able to make something of themselves. Mm -hmm. that is all of course, they could do that. Mm -hmm. and, some, and it's something that Amy mentioned earlier on at the beginning of this um, live is that the one of they probably aren't doing that is because they're scared of getting cancelled. Yeah. Cancel for starting a black bank? How they'll, be, how they'll be portrayed in the media. Because over yeah. here, just be, if they were all to get together and do something, the first thing a white person would do would be a woe is me. Yeah. Why are they doing that? There must be something yeah. behind it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, so, yeah, okay, stop. Them. All right, listen. Do other groups do that? No. Of course. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do all the groups come what together? Oh, come oh, together, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what mm -hmm. happens? And what happens? They oh, build a strong, they their build. foundation is strong. Strong, strong sense of community. Yeah. You know why? And, and they're, never, they're never insulted or, um, or attacked 
about having spaces that are purely for them. And well, not, the thing is, we, uh, we attack within. That's one yeah, of our yeah, main problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We attack you, within. We attack you, from the outside on. and we attack yeah. within. Everyone is attacked within. But there are some mm -hmm. that take their concerns and disagreements private. Deal yeah. with them. Come out mm -hmm. for the betterment of the community and mm -hmm. accept that I may have mm -hmm. to take an L here because the bigger picture is much more important. You know what we do? Mm -hmm. All we go for we social media and broadcast it and disrespect anybody we feel like. Mm -hmm. That doesn't bode. That doesn't bode well for unity. How can yeah. it? Yeah. How can That's it? True. How how how, how, how can you hear? Black people cannot be racist. You got to be crazy. Some of the most yeah. racist people I've encountered are black people. Straight <laughs> up. Straight mm. up. And, mm. and, and the casual racism is what, is what is quite interesting and alarming. Where people just okay. spout things and you really cannot even hold them accountable because you know they don't know better. This is all mm. they were taught. And so you cannot allow it to offend you. So we find happening now, black people are forever offended. You understand me? Because a lot of the conversations that are being driven are being driven by persons, excuse me, who don't want to find a solution. They want to be yeah. able to have something that they can argue about and forever claim to be a victim. And in doing such, they're not held accountable or they're not held to task to do something to fix yeah. the problems that they speak mm -hmm. of so, so passionately. You understand? Yeah. So it's all, it's, all, it's all a big game. We're, yeah. very good, we're very good at playing politicians, but we're not, mm -hmm. very, good at poli we're not very good at politics. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand the UK politics, but if you ask me, when is the best time to protest and fight for what you want? Is it when in government is the party that you don't support? And you have to let them know that as an opposition, you're not going to go away. I'm speaking about the people in general, the people in particular, not the politicians. Yeah. Or, yeah. Is it when, or is it when the party that you voted for is in office? Because you're going to embarrass them, right? Mm. <laughs> no, there's nothing like embarrassment. When you've given them the mm -hmm. reins and then you call on them to do what is expected and in many cases what they said they were going to do yeah. that drew mm -hmm. you to vote for them. So the best time for black people to make representation is when the government that they vote for is in power. I like now, the black people that vote for the Democrats in the US, they should be making the yeah. most noise. They should be making noise to get everything that they want. Yeah. But, what you gonna, but what happens? You wait and if Trump gets back into power or some other person from the U.S. that is a Republican, yeah. then, then you come okay. out and you want to protest for what you think you deserve. If the people that yeah. you put in power didn't give it to you, how can you tell the person that you didn't vote for that you deserve it? you got to be crazy. We play yeah. politicians. We don't understand politics. So, yeah. look, do you see when Republicans agitate for what they want? When their people are in power. That is how you do it. you yeah, you, yeah. you got to be crazy. Mm -hmm. to, can you expect a party that you've openly ridiculed, you don't support, you haven't supported, you call another's not to support, to get into power and then turn around and look after you first? Or mm -hmm. would you expect them to yeah. look after those that... Let's, mm -mm. let's be honest. Or would you expect them to look after those that got them in power first? You know, when you speak these things, I'm certain the English society will be like, preposterous. How can you say that? <laughs> well, look around. It has been happening for centuries now. It hasn't changed. What he's saying is actually British facts, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eng England, sense. look, England rewarded the people in all the territories that they had slaves and all of that. They rewarded the people that sided with them. And when did they reward them? continuously while they were in charge as mm. well as when they finished and they had to withdraw. So why sit and wait for someone to do something for you and you know the person don't like you and you don't like the person. But the person that's yeah. supposed to do it for you, you give them a pass. You know what we say? Oh, they now get into power. 
you got to give them a chance let them set the foot mm-hmm. when they do, when they do when they do something wrong you know we to say at least i don't throw them away for the other side the other <laughs> side in better <laughs> so politicians understand these things yeah politicians yeah. use these things and they use them effectively so when everyone is agitated let me give you an example in the US there were some um, this is from my observation there were some mm-hmm. stuff that happened to asian americans there were some mugging some stabbing a couple of persons died oh yeah and immediately the present administration brought an asian bill to the table have you ever seen a black people bill on the table no with all the, no. With all the murders that going no. on in all those cities and all those states and are these people the most vocal supporters of mm-hmm. the said do asians rep mm-hmm. for the democrats louder than black people rep for democrats in the us no they don't mm-hmm. you understand but yeah. they got something that they deserve yeah quickly but you've been making all this noise what is it that you've got <clears throat> nothing look 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 at england the amount of black people that are descendants of those that were illegally removed from africa spread out across the caribbean mm-hmm. and all other places mm-hmm. you know if all them people come together the government would cut the pay reparations they would have of a choice course. they wouldn't mm-hmm. have a choice but what's preventing it everyone else who's been affected by mass slayings and genocide and are still around have been compensated for their terrible mm-hmm. losses yeah mm-hmm. except the black man and woman yeah 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 what do we do about funny. it what do we do we don't teach our children politics we play politics with them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you understand we 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 don't on this we think the vote is what counts no is the activism after the vote Yeah. Mm. Hold it to account those that are responsible. Responsible. Mm. If I'm if a man running for presidency, the presidency say, "You know what? When I get in power, I'm going to kill someone." And he gets into power and he kills someone. What would you say? Well, he's done his job. He said he's going to kill that person. He's done what he said he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> He done what he said he was going to do. He's killed the person. He said mm. it, he did it. Look at it. How would a supporter look at it? Even though you know it's wrong, a supporter yeah. would say, at least, at least he did isn't it? What, what he, he said. said he was going to do. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So when someone... It was wrong when he did it. <laughs> so what we like to do in politics, we discount people before even taking them seriously. and then you end up in a situation where they're in charge of you and all you do is criticize and complain i don't know the full lay- layout of the uk politics and all the different parties that you guys have there mm-hmm. you guys re- you guys recently had a, a a test of how popular the prime minister is in the house of, <laughs> in, in the house the, the house of commons i mean he won't be nice he's still popular yeah 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 <laughs> You want the vote of no confidence, yeah. Right? Recently, you've, you've, you've had, uh, what else happened there? Recently, he, yes, well, after all of this, uh, then you got your big, your big issue at the moment is, is party gate. We've been drinking alcohol at 10 down the street. Oh, when you had the party. <laughs> yeah. You know? mm-hmm. His parties, parties. party gate and you sit and you debate that for how many months now oh too many <laughs> it was just it was too much <laughs> has, <laughs> has there been a bill that oh dear does something really for the people discuss no. debated in that time i like no. it presented no 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 probably but have probably have some parts in it that don't want to come out so that's pass it through fast but you understand mm-hmm. what's happening you understand what's happening it's it's a big game of of you hiding from your shadow in the midday sun mm. Mm. you lose always 
you lose yeah. control. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unless we understand politics, we're not going to get what we're supposed to get out of it. And that is sad, you know. And mm-hmm. in countries, in countries where there are many successful black people who rub shoulders with the queen and the presidents and yeah. all of that, hardly have they made any move, any inclusive move to tackle serious issues affecting the black community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are, yeah. And, and here to believe about it, in this time of virtue signaling, now is the best time to do it because every white person is going to jump on board because they want to be with the minorities. You see, yeah. why we don't, uh, you yeah. see why we don't understand politics? We have no yeah. idea what we're doing. Yeah. So now is the best time. Now is the perfect time. If they run it mm-hmm. by, they're going to get they're going to get through now because governments are going to want to show that they are diverse, inclusive, diverse, yes. inclusive, diverse, mm-hmm. inclusive. Mm-hmm. There's two words. I've been flung around for the past two years. Yeah. <laughs> or, or you wait until a government goes into power that says, "Don't bring that to me. Everybody's treated equally. You don't get no special concessions for nothing." And then you're going to mm-hmm. say, "You see." You see what I tell you? They don't want to yeah. give us. They're against yeah. us. When the person yeah. that was there to give you, you never put pressure on that person to give you. So go put pressure mm. on those that you put, put pressure on those that you elected. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy to mm-hmm. advantage now. The That's word diversity and equality is not used or is not being used to safeguard black people. No, it's not. That's oh, perfectly. No. Definitely not. Those words no. are not used to safeguard us. Yeah, you, you, mm-hmm. you. It's a lot of virtue signaling happening right now. Yeah. You know, they're 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 teaching young black children that they they have an inherent disadvantage, and they will have a disadvantage throughout their entire life. That is okay yeah. to tell tell somebody be aware of challenges, but then the other mm-hmm. part of it that says there is nothing you can do. To change it. No, I don't believe in that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I believe you can tell someone, chances are, if you're in this area, this area, that area, or whatever, how many black people have invested back in Africa? Where you can get amongst black people and you're not get them sorting racism. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. haven't in the vast majority. Akon is one that has done it. Yeah. How many more? And Akon doesn't have money compared to others. You, you get what I'm saying, right? Yes. You have money, you cry racism, but there is a place that you could invest amongst your own, but you don't do it. You don't do it. But even yeah. the, like, the money that Akon is, that he has, it's not all his own money. There's yeah, it's, investors. It's investors. Yeah. Investors. investors. Is it from the UAE that mm-hmm. have given him the money to do what he's done? Let me ask you something. Let's say Naomi's getting married, right? Okay. Yeah! Well done, Naomi. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. And she's going to have... She's, oh, oh. she's going to have... How, how many guests, Naomi? How many guests you'd like to have there? Um... Me today, I would say 50 to 100. I'd want an intimate wedding. Do I we can say, when a woman says 50 to 100, is 100 or 50. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Those are the only the ones that you remember. As you go through the list, you're going to find others that you forgot. I... So let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say a hundred, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, your sister's Natasha's point. That is not intimate. <laughs> well, that's so true. 50, that's so 50. True. Let me say, we say a hundred, we say a hundred. Because you got 50, yeah. he gets 50. He gets 50 too, right? So 100. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 for me, 50 for him. So, Good mm, Natasha. <laughs> You, you, I'm certain you can't break that list down to 25. Mm, you yeah. see, Natasha's saying 20. <laughs> 20. Oh, mm, yeah, and then okay. Natasha may not be there. 
But <laughs> you better be there because you'll be helping me with my dress. Okay, okay. Well, here this here now. So we have these these hundred people going to this wedding, right? Of the hundred mm-hmm. people, how many go? How many maybe women of the hundred? Ah, oh, sixty. Very good. Yeah. Sixty yeah. women. Sixty. Forty men. Yeah. Of of the new of the analysis. of the sixty women, how many of them would have a new frock, a new gown, a new dress, a new new shoes? 60, and all of them, <laughs> every single one of we, every single one of them. All right, every of the forty men, of, of the forty men, who gonna be wearing new clothes? How many? Twenty. Twenty. Okay, no problem. No, what no, yeah, no, all of them. If you're not part what, of the wedding what? party, then they don't mind. Listen, it? Menno. Listen, yeah. Menno, man. Twenty, right? Good. Of yeah. the fifty women now, the sixty women, how many of them gonna get on the makeup that has a cost attached to it? All. How many mm-hmm. of them got on? This is not only dress. This is shoes. Yeah. How many of them accessories? Yeah. Purses, all of that. Yeah, everything, oh. no, man. Everything. But listen, everything listen everything. to Menno, man. Listen. <laughs> What would be the cost, the average cost, for that woman making an appearance at Naomi's wedding? Oh, about a hundred, hundred or more. Yeah, hundred or more. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're putting together, if you're going to get the shoes, you probably would have the makeup, so the shoes, yeah, the dress, yeah, yeah. about a hundred or more, depending yeah, on where you're shopping. Yeah, to I, go like to, to, I like to, I like drifting. No spend ten. Go, we, are we not speaking about you? A hundred and fifty plus, <laughs> Natasha says. Right? There's a hundred and fifty. Yeah, but hundred pounds or more. And what about the men? What about the men? What about the men now? What about the men? What would it cost for suit for twenty men? For twenty men for a suit. How much for a suit? How much can you get? Sometimes That's we go good. to ninety ninety-nine plus ninety-nine pounds. So. Yeah, don't <laughs> what? no 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 don't don't go to the bottom end of the scale, go to the average. What the average person would do. But the Maybe average man would they would they buy a new suit? No, they'll probably buy a jacket to go with a yeah. I would say hundred dollars, right? A hundred dollars, one hundred dollars, right? Yeah. Okay. And you have this wedding, and then Naomi, you 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 got a. How much will it cost for you to to hold the wedding? The guy get here, the guy get nailed. We are talking about hundred. Yeah, they call him money. Yes, yeah, they try to. Thousands of pounds in my mind. They're like seventeen grand, eighteen grand, them kind of money. Yeah, yeah. Wedding's a big. Yeah. yeah. Seventeen, eighteen thousand, right? Yeah. So yeah. And then you got to go start your life after, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, the what about, think about this. Me. Think about this. What about this? What about if every woman who comes to a wedding wear a dress that she has already? With accessories and a shoe that she has already. What about if no man buys mm-hmm. a suit? Huh? And what about if everybody take the same one hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars that they were going to spend to come to your wedding and put it in a box and give it to you? Could you see yourself mm-hmm. walking out with twenty thousand pounds to start your life? Mm. That is still happening, Gayano. Mm. Oh, Indian brothers and wow. sisters do that. They don't go oh. rent no hall. Wow. They have their wedding at someone's house, either the boy mm-hmm. house or the girl house. They put up a, mm-hmm. a tent. They have the food is being cooked right there. The men cook mm-hmm. the food. The food is being cooked right there in many instances. Of course, they have the religious part where they dress in thing, but that expenses uncle. Uncle, whoever could walk in with an old flip flop, mm-hmm. mm. you understand, an old flip flop with a short pants, a torn jersey, and Uncle could go in his bag and put on ten thousand pounds on the table because he not to pay for to bring his fifteen member family to the wedding. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody. So- Melissa said, <laughs> said that's a cheap wedding. That yes, I know you ladies are giving me the very low end of the 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 the, the yeah. Cost. No, this is this is what someone's put. This, that's a cheap wedding, so yeah. Okay, but then all like right, you so said, the you're concept of my wedding has changed. You've all you've right. all come in the clothes that you have, and then you'll put the money in my pockets. <laughs> 
No, you see, you see, then it would look to them. Then it, yeah, then it would look to them as though you're, as though you're demanding. But this is culture. This is traditional. This is something that that some some um, uh, that someone uh just make up and say, well, this is where you got you feel outraged by it. No, this is what the Indian culture does. They minimize on expenses so they can give gifts of value. To the, the the people that are involved, mm-hmm. and you get at the end of when it, you get enough sense. money. Let me let me. Oh, hold on, hold on. I watch Americans and I watch the behavior of many when they they have weddings, right? Look what happened. The the or birthday. The the groom is soaked in one hundred bottles of crystal. Mm-mm, that's not happening. That's, that's not happening. Nah, that's not happening. No, 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 no. I, I'm happening. telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, I've seen those right? videos, and I. It's you know so, what that is? Ugh. That is foolishness. Give me that yeah. money. Yes. A hundred bottles, and that same person wouldn't bring a gift to the wedding. Mm. Mm-hmm. They come in the dry hands. <laughs> You notice the African wedding, the African weddings, they go wrong and they throw money to... Or yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they yeah, 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 the, 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 the notes on them, yeah. And then they pick it up and they take it home. Mm. This is this is not something that you never knew. This is something mm. that you stopped doing. This is something mm. that you forgot. Mm. This is mm. you adapting different yeah. traditions and different, following that, different yeah. cultures in different parts. This is not yeah. something that yeah. you that you never knew of. This is mm. you, but you don't want to do it anymore. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. a different way of life. Thank you. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, you're caught up in a different really? way of life. You, you, you don't value things anymore. Yeah, no, you don't we value do people anymore. Yeah. We value, we value what a person could do for us only. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so. I just put a comment saying, now there are a lot of black couples who are having cheap weddings as they are thinking about the future. And yeah, there was a couple in the states that had a wedding for five hundred dollars. I can remember seeing that. Which and, is uh, wonderful. Listen, which I agree mm-hmm. with, but we have to take it a step further. Yeah. What would have been the expenses that the persons attending would have gladly taken on mm-hmm. without anything? Yeah, they have to yeah. put that to the table, put that on the mm-hmm. table. Yeah. And that mm-hmm. is what is going to make the difference. Yeah, when you yeah. know, when you know, you get married, you get in a start for you and your family. Mm. You're rewarding good behavior, or yeah. you're rewarding uh, behavior that you'd like to have, behavior that yeah. you want for your society. So instead you... of going into debt for the wedding, going into profit, you know, and, yeah. and having having something to be able to yeah build and start your family, because a lot of people that like when they get married, they. They start off with steady effect. And it's crazy. That's not... And that's why, I, you know, I would want an intimate wedding because I, I, I wouldn't want to spend all that money on a wedding, you know, feeding all these mouths that half of them don't even need to be there, you know? Majority of them don't even check up on, on me and my partner mm. to see if we're, we're good. They don't actually care, you know? They're not yeah, actually true. a part of your community. They're, they're just yeah, there true. to show face and to party and then leave. Party. You that know? That's so, so true. Yeah. Yeah. So, so until, until we realize that, like I said before, traditions and customs are not always oppressive. Many of them are solutions to problems that existed before. They may seem draconian to us, but trust me, in some instances, you would find um the outcome if you remove them is far worse than what you're dealing with by having them and that's yeah. what mm. we don't want to, to to really deal with you know it is a sad world i i, I really don't grudge you guys for how you have over there mm-hmm. so thanks <laughs> i really i really don't 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 grudge you i couldn't think about you know uh you would never come over here no, I've never been to to, go, <laughs> to sure? mother sure? to mother England. Sure? Yeah, sure? I've been. Sure? Yeah, I've been um <laughs> been to the you US and Canada and some, and other countries, but never to England. 
I've okay. never been to Europe actually. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. One of one of the mm. things I, I want to do. Uh, you know which country doesn't have any feminists right now? Well, Ukraine. Yeah. Ukraine. Uh, oh. Really? Uh, no, they don't. Really? They're, okay. at, they're at war. Yeah, yeah. They just about to say they're busy with the war. Is that still going on? You yeah, don't hear about it. Then again, I don't listen to the news. Yeah. So I don't even know what's going on there. Yeah, still going on. No, so you guys have a big challenge over in England, but mm-hmm. I think y'all, the horse is already That's bolted cool. in 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 y'all case. I think. Yeah, we have lots of challenges, man. See, yeah, we have lots yeah. of challenges, especially. <laughs> Within the black community and as black men and women, we, yeah, we face a lot. It's gone too and far. We need, to, really, we, need to face, we need to face them together, man. Seriously. Mm-hmm. It's gone too... too it's just, uh, some would say it, 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 it's, it's... You really can't change it. You have to start with a generation. and You probably need to do that, you know, but you could make things a little bit more respectful. So you could be yeah. where people could could have more respect for each other. And, mm-hmm. and what wasn't it a woman from England that suggested during the yes it was during the pandemic that they should put a curfew on men. Is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can remember hearing that. I can remember hearing <laughs> that so so that women feel safe on the street in the evenings yeah. men shouldn't be allowed out after 9 or 10 p.m. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can remember hearing that and I was like shut up like come on. Yeah. Come you know who is going to be out? Yeah, there goes you know? the divide again. There we go, the divide. <laughs> When you know I heard be, that, I was like this is out? absolutely ridiculous. You know who's going to be out after the curfew? Those who um who don't care what happens those who are looking to harm people they will be out yeah. mm-hmm. and it's and it's good people that stop bad people mm-hmm. and if and if you bundle all men as but by the way thinking about it but you still require all male police officers to work right mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. no they have to go home at curfew time as well mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And no men taxi, should be outside. Taxi drivers, taxi every, drivers. Every male. Every man. Off the road, off the street. Yeah, you need to think that's really mm-hmm. No more night shift for men to work. Men should work <laughs> daily. No logic. There's you know no logic. You know how difficult that would be? Mm. So, that would be the... Think about this. There was a march in a, in a, in a country had a very violent year. where there were drug cartels and killing was rampant and um the in excess of 30,000 people died right so the 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 women came out and organized a march because like they put it too many women died right mm-hmm. 2900 women died and there was over 30,000 men that died <laughs> but they only see it fit to put a march that says too many women died i thought the march should have been too many people yeah no yeah. the march was too many women mm. who were 2000 yeah. plus over 30 odd thousand total yeah That's craziness That's yeah and recent uh, a couple of years ago there was a, 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 a women took a day off remember that they took a day <coughs> off from work <coughs> they, they um decided that they're not going to work that day so they took a day off and you wouldn't really want men to take a day off <laughs> if all of men take a day off it's, it's, it's chaos it's not going to be easy I'm telling you it wouldn't be easy it would be so bad <laughs> imagine every man took a day off wow yeah Mm-hmm. <laughs> you'll have mm-hmm. you'll have no electricity at least not for long you'll have mm-hmm. no internet yeah no heat no yeah. gas no yeah. water yeah emergency services will be mm. down a lot 
mm-hmm. public transportation, mm-hmm. airplanes, mm-hmm. the majority of airplanes will be down. Mm-hmm. Um, security <laughs> will be threatened. Yep. Healthcare, you healthcare would probably stand up to a good degree mm. for a certain time. But then again, all the mm-hmm. men that looking after all the generators and all the hospital, when they gone, what gonna happen? Mm-hmm. It's gonna mm. shut. Mm. And this Food? isn't to say that women are useless. However, we need to realize as a if women if women take a day off, the effects will take longer to kick in. But they will be. Make no doubt about it. They will be. If you remove women. Mm-hmm. You understand? You help you help facilities and health care when patient care can plummet immediately. Mm-hmm. The schools and all of that will be greatly affected. Mm-hmm. There are many con- there are many countries where women are involved in, in, in a lot lots of the process or processes that deal with food manufacturing as well as um, clothing manufacturing in a lot of these plants mm-hmm. that they have. So mm-hmm. certain, certain things will be affected, yes, you know, for those who claim like, oh, the only thing will happen is we won't be able to make children. That's not true. That is one of the things that will happen. But there will be different fallout, you know, as long as you're affecting it, even if after a while you get, get it up to date that you can teach children without having to rely on any female teachers, that's going to take a time and that's going to take a toll and that's going to be a big decrease in the quality of education being offered. When you mm-hmm. remove all those nurses and doctors out of the systems, then you know what's going to happen there. The quality of life, healthcare-wise, is going to decrease and drastically. You're going to have to take mm-hmm. time to get men up to par and up to speed. In the homes, women take care of many things that men don't do for themselves. And in some instances, that men don't even know how to do for themselves. It's all fair enough to say you're going to buy food if you don't know to cook. But trust mm-hmm. me, <laughs> nobody really wants to live like that. Mm-hmm. So those that say, oh, only thing men won't be able to do is make children. Yeah, that's a fact, but it's not as straightforward and clear-cut as that. They make it to seem as though there wouldn't be any major ramifications, and there will be. There has to be. You can't remove half of the world and not think mm-hmm. anything is going to come out of it. It's just going to be okay. We have more space. No. You're going to have serious ramifications. You understand? Who who, who keeping all them children that got to go daycare and all them things? Or how we start mm-hmm. having those things? You understand? So mm-hmm. one problem is going to prevent you from even functioning like you normally do. So you have this big engineer who's going to make sure whatever. And then you remove his wife. And you got three young kids. You think he could still be the big engineer as easily as he was the big engineer when his wife is there? No, he can't. He'll have different challenges that will take time for him to work through it. Likewise, women will take time if you remove men from certain aspects to, to get up to speed and get it running. They're going to suffer consequences. Yes, but in the end, I believe they'll still survive and, and continue. I understand. To live out a normal life. Mm. So, in wrapping up, because I know you guys, you guys look tired and bored now. No, I'm not bored. <laughs> it's, 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 no, I'm not. It's six, isn't it? It is, it is what? what? 11 o'clock, dear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. six o'clock for you. Yeah. Six o'clock. I wish it was six o'clock. Oh, no. <laughs> I still got some sunlight. Oh, yeah. you can see. Day is now finishing. Finishing. I still got sunlight. I oh, know, I can see the oh, sun yeah. shining from the window, man. Ours is gone now. Yeah, it's all dark Fingers over crossed here. We'll some, Fingers crossed we will get some back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, England is the worst place in terms of weather, I've heard. Mm-hmm. Yes. What yes. is it right now? What is it? What's going to happen? Do what's going to happen seasons? tomorrow? Do you have seasons? In one day. In of one day. But it could all come together in one day. Of yeah, or even the... in one hour, like you, can, it can be really sunny, and then yeah, it will start raining, thunderstorm, all, and then snow. Of all the places that England enslaved 
they chose to remain on that place there as the main mm-hmm. spot. Uh, you know they could have moved out and take and make a new place, right? They could have, but they chose to stay in good old Mother England. Mm-hmm. So, anything else you'd like to ask before I I beg to 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 have my leave? <laughs> <laughs> you beg to have your leave. No, I can't think of any of the questions. Can you, Fiona? No, is there anyone that's on that wants to that would like to ask our guest Malcolm any questions? Melissa, do you want to ask him any questions? Natasha, GT Empire, who else do we have? We have Six. Mr. Hammond. Hi, Mama. Mom, do you want to ask do you would you like to ask him any questions? Does your mom sexy shot? Does my mom work? No, that's not my mom. No. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. <laughs> yeah, there's Anisha <laughs> and Shemaine. Zanisha, oh. Shemaine, do you have any questions? Yeah, Shemaine, Zanisha. Does anyone have any questions <coughs> for Mister Martin? Before we go, because mm-hmm. we are wrapping up. But um, this has been a great from... conversation, and. Mm-hmm. I'm glad thank to you say, for sharing time with us. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us. Mm. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a good time with us, Mr. Malcolm Ferrer. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. What? I, said. Malcolm that's what, <laughs> what? I, I didn't hear you. Yeah. Yes, I said it. Exactly that. Malcolm yeah. what? Exactly, exactly that. Yeah, yeah. What? Yes, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hear you. Well, yes, but Malcolm, it has been it's been such a pleasure having you on, and I really yeah. have thoroughly enjoyed the discussion yeah. that we've that's taking place this evening. You're yeah. most you're most welcome. It's it's been a, a privilege and honor and a pleasure spending the past two hours mm-hmm. with you guys and everyone. Listening and looking, and uh, certainly yeah. wish you guys everything. And you know we're gonna have performance. It's gonna it's gonna be starting soon, and you know you ladies yes. will be there as well with us on yeah. performance. Yes. Looking yes, for people. Yes, people. We didn't tell you that, but yes, yes, yes. Yes, we have an announcement. We will yeah. be doing a <laughs> performance, and we can't bloody wait. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna have, have a great time. You guys take care, right? Yeah, you yeah. too. Oh, 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 comment from Melissa. She says she doesn't have any questions, but thank, thank you, but thankful for the information that you've shared, which mm-hmm. we all are. With yeah. yeah, thank you so much yeah. for being here with us as well. Thank you, everyone. and for those. Thank you so much for those that have joined, that joined us this evening. Thank you so much for your questions and your comments that you put forward. Um, also, as well, um, the, just to let you know, our next sisters talk about live event. Where um, <clears throat> we will be live, and in Living Color is going to be taking place on July the eighth at yeah. Karma Sanctum in Soho. The ticket yeah. details are going to be out within the next couple of hours. So yeah. grab your tickets, and we'll see you down there. Yes. Now, but yeah, Malcolm, so enjoy the rest of your day. You enjoy the rest of your sunny day, Malcolm. In guys, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy the weather. Yeah, lovely. Well, take care, Mr. Ferrer. <laughs> 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 yeah. Whatever, whatever well, that was. Guys. Yes, that's Thank me. Thank you that's... so much. You do not me. say your last name. I can say it, Malcolm Ferrer. What did you say? Ferreira. Marcus Ferreira. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not mine. Ferreira. Oh, no, it's actually. You see? That's exactly what I said. No, it is not. It is. It is. Marcus. She didn't say it. She didn't say it aloud. She said it in her head. <laughs> she pronounced it perfectly. Yes. <laughs> the man himself said it. I said it perfectly. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just being polite. He's just being <laughs> polite. 
But yes, people, until the next time, our next talk will be... When it will be Naomi? The next one. July. Oh, the... the first Monday July. July. The four... Yeah, the, the first, first Monday, Monday in July. July. <laughs> this will be the Monday before the event. Yeah, the first Monday in July. Yeah, so hold on. Then... I will. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what, what, what's she gone and done? Naomi, you're frozen. Oh, you're back. Oh. Yes, what were you doing? The 5th of July. The 5th of July, people, will be our next one. Oh, she was checking something. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I thought. Yeah, no. I was checking my calendar. <laughs> okay. All right, then, guys. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Malcolm. Take care. Enjoy the rest yeah. of your day. Naomi, sister, cousin, friend. I yeah. love you, and I'll speak to you soon. Love ya. Everyone bye -bye, else, bye -bye. until next time, as we end bye. it, Love, peace, love, peace, and, 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 and